I'm Dr. Leo Doherty. I'm a, a physician at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. I attended the University of Massachusetts at Amherst for undergraduate, um, and then I um, moved down the road to Worcester to University of Massachusetts Medical School um, for medical school. And then I did my um, residency at Yale New Haven Hospital in New Haven, Connecticut, and stayed there for a fellowship in reproductive endocrinology and infertility. But my dad's a pharmacist, and I used to go to the hospital with my dad as a kid, and um, you know, walking around the hospital, you know, bringing the medication uh, order up to the floor, and thinking that I was, you know, saving the world. Um, and I just, you know, from from the very beginning, always wanted to be a doctor. And I thought that, you know, um, uh, liking kids and wanting to be a doctor would translate into wanting to be a pediatrician. Um, until I did my pediatrics rotation in medical school and realized it wasn't for me. Um, and then I did my OBGYN rotation and realized that the variety, you know, surgery, uh, continuity of care with patients was um, something that I was a little bit uh, better suited for. And then I found out about reproductive endocrinology and infertility, um, and I was hooked from the very beginning. I'm a Boston native, so I grew up in Boston, and that's where my family still uh, lives today. Um, and so I love Boston. I think it's a great, great city. Life in New Jersey is great. It's a little different than Boston, but um, we recently moved and were um, welcomed into our new home with, um, you know, a basket of muffins uh, uh, from one from one um, neighbor. A uh, neighbor across the street made us a, uh, a pot holder and sent some cookies and, and just came over and introduced themselves. I have never, in all the places I've lived throughout the years, had had that happen. So um, we're ex we're excited. It truly is a nice place to be. I like to spend time uh, at home with the kids, um, you know, playing in the yard with the kids, whether it's, you know, playing basketball. My son's just learning to golf. Relatively new to New Jersey, so don't have too many golf partners, so it's, it's great that my, my, uh, my five-year-old is starting to golf and, uh, you know, hitting balls in the yard will hopefully translate into getting out on the course sometime soon. In the OR, I usually do have uh, music playing, usually some um, either classic rock or, um, you know, sometimes depending on what the surgery is, maybe a little, uh, little Guns N' Roses. Most of my reading, if, if I'm reading, is, is not, you know, the, the, the great classic that's usually something like, you know, David Baldacci, kind of an action, uh, you know, kind of suspense type, type uh, you know, not, not too serious light reading. And I think that the hardest thing to treat is, is age, and there's, no, there's nothing that we can do about it in 2015 or um, to, to change the number of eggs a woman has in her ovaries. Um, you know, we can change the number that, that may ovulate, but we can't change that starting number. We can't change their genetics. I use the term, you know, keep your eyes on the prize um, almost every day. Um, and, you know, when someone's, you know, third, third cycle, getting down, you know, start, sh should I keep doing this? Just to try to remember why they're there, why they're there early in the morning, taking time out of their schedule to come in for these ultrasounds and blood work. Um, that at the end of the day, they're here because they really want a baby. And um, this treatment that we're doing right now is their best chance at achieving that goal. And, and um, just trying to remind them that, you know, um, at the end, you know, with, with hard work, we can get there. You know, we were, were there for the, you know, the best moments in someone's lives and the worst moments in someone's lives. I mean, you call someone with a positive pregnancy test, it's my favorite thing to do every day. Calling with a negative test or telling someone that we don't see the heartbeat, you know, on the ultrasound. Is one of the hardest things to do. So if I saw a, um, a patient review on, on, a, on a blog, for example, um, I would, uh, would like to see somebody say that you know they were happy with the, the level of medical care that they received, but also the personal attention that they got. It's exciting to be coming to a practice where a lot of the counseling I do for patients when we're talking about IVF and number of embryos to transfer and risk of multiple pregnancies and, and, and whether or not we should be doing uh, CCS or um, you know, screening of embryos prior to transfer um, is happening at the practice I'm joining. And so not only am I able to say that you know, um, the field is, uh, studies are showing the following things, my partners are, are showing the following things and, and I'm excited to be a part of that. I love calling a patient and telling them that the pregnancy test is positive. I mean, honestly, there's, there's nothing better. Um, everybody reacts differently, and um, it's never, it's, it's, always, it's always great. All those things together, and you know, in a given day, to do all those things in one day is, is you know, I love my job.